Inflammation is a natural response for the body to injury, infection, and illness. When triggered, the immune system releases certain chemicals that result in swelling, redness, and heat in the affected area. While inflammation is essential for healing, such as after workout where it stimulates muscle recovery, chronic inflammation can lead to long-term health issues like diabetes, heart disease, and obesity. The food we ate plays a significant role in causing inflammation in our bodies. Certain food groups have high likelihood of triggering an inflammatory response. Consuming these foods regularly can lead to chronic inflammation, which negatively affects our body composition by eroding various tissues, including muscle tissue. Chronic inflammation is often associated with an overactive immune system, which can result in muscle mass loss. Consequently, research has linked chronic inflammation to difficulties in muscle growth, joint injuries, and lower testosterone levels. Before we dive deeper into this topic, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Number 1. Refined Sugar One of the well-known culprits for causing inflammation in the body is refined sugar. Refined sugar have the ability to activate a process called glycation, where sugar molecules bind with protein or fats, forming advanced glycation end products AGEs. AGEs are a toxic compound that the body struggles to break down and eliminate, leading to their accumulation and causing inflammation throughout the body. In addition to glycation, refined sugar can also cause leptin resistance. Leptin is the hormone responsible for regulating appetite and metabolism. When leptin resistance occurs, the body's response to leptin is impaired, resulting in elevated levels of inflammatory markers like TNF-alpha and IL-6. This further contributes to the systematic inflammation in the body. While the ideal solution would be to completely avoid processed sugars, it is understandable that many people still want to enjoy sweet treats like ice cream, cake, or cookies occasionally. In such cases, it is important to consume these foods in moderation and limited quantities. One simple solution is to replace sugar with natural alternative sweeteners like stevia. Stevia can be used to make delicious desserts, including cakes, cookies, and pastries, while significantly reducing the intake of AGEs and calories. It's worth noting that sugars found in fruits are not refined sugars, and there's no need to avoid consuming fruit. Fruits actually contain many inflammatory compounds like antioxidants and fiber, which are beneficial for reducing inflammation in the body. Number 2. Artificial Trans Fat Another major contributor to inflammation in fried foods is the presence of artificial trans fat. Artificial trans fat are commonly found in partially hydrogenated vegetable oils, which are often used for deep frying and other cooking methods. These trans fat are a type of unsaturated fat that has been artificially created through a process called hydrogenation, where hydrogen atoms are added to vegetable oils to make them more solid. This process is primarily done to increase shelf life and reduce costs in the food industry. Scientific research has shown that artificial trans fat can induce inflammation in the body by affecting our cell membranes and immune systems. The presence of artificial trans fat leads to molecular level changes that result in the accumulation of pro-inflammatory substances within our cells. This, in turn, increases the production of cytokines, which are signaling molecules that trigger inflammatory responses throughout the body. Studies have also demonstrated a link between higher intake of artificial trans fat and elevated levels of C-reactive protein CRP, which is an indicator of systematic inflammation in humans. High CRP concentrations are associated with various chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease, diabetes mellitus, and obesity, all of which involve inflammation as a major factor in their development. It is important to note that we are specifically referring to artificial trans fat and processed foods like margarine, fried foods, snack foods, and baked goods. Naturally occurring trans fat found in dairy and meat are different and do not have the same harmful effects. In fact, a systematic review published in 2019 suggested that milk and dairy products do not have a pro-inflammatory effect and may even help reduce inflammation. Similarly, the natural trans fat found in meat also do not have the same negative impact as artificial trans fat. However, it's worth noting that excessive processing of meats can introduce harmful substances. Overall, avoiding or minimizing the consumption of foods can Containing artificial trans fat is important for reducing inflammation and lowering the risk of associated chronic diseases. Number 3. Processed Meats When it comes to inflammation, processed meats are defined as meats that have preserved through methods like salting, curing, or smoking. Examples like bacon, ham, hot dogs, and sausages. These meats often contain high levels of nitrates which are used as preservatives to extend their shelf life. 
nitrates in processed meat can react with stomach acids to form nitroso compounds, specifically N nitroso compound NOCs. These NOCs have been identified as having carcinogenic properties, which not only contribute to inflammation but can also increase the risk of developing cancer. Additionally, processed meats contain advanced glycation end products AGEs, which we discussed earlier. Consuming a large amount of AGEs can lead to cell damage and contribute to oxidative stress, a condition associated with chronic inflammation in various diseases, including heart disease and stroke. While enjoying a hot dog or other processed meats on occasions like Memorial Day weekend may not pose an immediate threat, it is advisable to minimize the consumption of processed meats in your diet as much as possible. By doing so, you can reduce the exposure to the inflammatory effects, potential carcinogens, and other health risks associated with these foods. Number 4. Refined Carbohydrates Moving on to another culprit of inflammation, Refined carbohydrates are also significant contributors. Refined carbohydrates refer to carbohydrate-rich foods that have undergone processing, resulting in the removal of their original nutritional value. Examples including white bread, crackers, and popular snacks like Cheez-Its, goldfish, and pretzels. While refined carbohydrates provide a short-term energy, they can have a long-term negative effects on health due to their tendency to trigger inflammation. For instance, a study showed that consuming just 50 grams of refined carbs in the form of white bread resulted in an increase in the inflammatory marker NFKB. This is primarily due to the high glycemic index of white bread, meaning it is rapidly broken down into sugar by the body, causing a sharp spike in blood sugar levels. In response, the body releases insulin, which can lead to an overproduction of cytokines and other inflammatory chemicals if this pattern is repeated frequently or over an extended period. It is important to note that complete avoidance of refined carbohydrates may not be necessary, but rather consuming these foods in limited quantities is key. For instance, having an occasional sandwich with white breads is different from regularly consuming multiple slices of white bread every day for breakfast and lunch. Although the calorie and carbohydrate content may be similar between 100% whole grain bread and white white bread, the latter is more inflammatory due to its refined carbohydrate nature. Additionally, refined carbs often lack fiber, which would otherwise slow down digestion and prevent rapid sugar spikes. Number 5. Alcohol Another factor contributing to inflammation is alcohol consumption. Alcohol is known to be one of the worst substances for inflammation, particularly when consumed in excess or frequently. Alcohol directly interacts with immune cells, impairing their ability to effectively respond to foreign invaders in the body. This leads to an increase in cytokines and other inflammatory mediators, triggering an inflammatory response throughout the body. Alcohol can also directly increase inflammation by disrupting the balance of the gut microbiome, causing a condition known as a leaky gut syndrome. This disruption releases more inflammatory molecules into the bloodstream, resulting in an elevated inflammatory response. Moreover, alcohol has been linked to increased oxidative stress, which further damages cells and contributes to inflammation. Oxidative stress occurs when there's an imbalance between free radicals, molecules that can cause cell damage, and antioxidants, molecules that protect cells from free radical damage. Alcohol consumption increases the production of free radicals, leading to oxidative stress, cell damage, and inflammation throughout the body. Therefore, limiting alcohol intake is recommended to reduce inflammation. By being mindful of these 5 pro-inflammatory ingredients and consuming them in limited quantities, you can reduce joint pain, improve overall health, and achieve a better body composition. And that's it! Thank you for watching this video! Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel!